hello everyone welcome to my youtube channel my name is Orolu well with a double a and you're welcome to this space i am a medical doctor and also a nigerian youtuber i film about faith health and lifestyle and today's video i'm going to be dedicating it to the world kidney day of 2022 and the theme for this world kidney day is kidney health for all all right if you want to know how to maintain your kidneys and also how to keep them at optimal function definitely keep watching while i was doing my house job i was posted to nephrology department for the internal medicine posting and i spent three whole months in nephrology department and i actually saw a lot of things that made me scared you know it's different when you read something on the papers and then you see patients once in a while then actually managing patients with these conditions is actually 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 a different body. adults to young children to in fact the most heartbreaking one i had was a young girl and she is just a teenager and she had been battling this kidney issue as a child i mean it is very heart-wrenching and they are going through these kidney issues and, and you know they feel really really helpless so it just makes you realize that these organs are very very important in fact i wish i could say it louder than and scream it more than i'm saying it now but yes your kidneys are very 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 important like don't even joke around your kidneys right don't don't joke around it. a lot of people make jokes about saying that oh since they have two kidneys they want to sell one to probably buy land or buy an iphone or something they make jokes around it yes i know but in the actual sense do not joke with your kidneys okay so i'll be explaining to you what exactly this kidney does the most obvious one that we all know is that the kidney helps us make urine and if it doesn't help you make urine what does that mean the urine or all the things that you're supposed to excrete where does it stay in your body so understand that passing urine is a big miracle it is something that you should thank your kidneys for daily so don't joke around with that so when you're passing out urine right it's not just water it helps you your kidney helps you excrete extra fluid that your body does not need and also excrete waste products from your body there are different ways your body excretes waste products and the urine and making urine the kidney is one of the ways the second thing is that it helps you produce red blood cells yes i know that we think that oh it's attributed to the bones to the bones to the bones but there's a particular hormone that is secreted in the kidney that helps you produce red blood cells so most times when you see a patient that has um any kidney abnormality they are sometimes anemic if it's that bad you see them come down with anemia another thing that your kidney does is to help you control your blood pressure so you when you see young people most young people that come down with hypertension there is a backstory to it their kidneys are probably not functioning very well so if you want to make sure that your blood pressure is optimal then make sure that your kidneys are also in check. Last thing I like to point out is that the kidneys help keep your bone healthy. It's a, it's a whole lot of pathway and okay. reaction. I don't want to bore you with all that information, but the kidney help keeps your bone healthy. If you don't want to be limping or having bone issues or suffering hypokalemia just early in life, then make sure that your kidneys are healthy. So yes, how do we optimize the kidneys? So some golden rules for keeping a healthy kidney. Number one is your salt intake. A lot of people like to sprinkle salt after cooking food and then the salt in the system is just extra. You're stressing your kidney. You're literally stressing your kidney. So yes, please limit your salt intake about five to six grams per day is okay i know we can't weigh the salt and all but ensure that you are not taking too much salt in your diet yes, make sure that you're not taking salt in excess in your diet especially when you begin to advance in age you can cut salt in fact actually cut salt like reduce it you can cook meals without putting too much salt and they'll still taste very, very nice. 
So as you advance in age, because your body has gone through a lot, you're going to need to reduce salt intake. The second and most important thing that I like to mention is water. Water, like H2O, normal water, just plain, clear water, natural water. Take a lot of water. It helps to detoxify your system and it is less stress on your kidneys. A lot of people like to take energy drinks because you are working and they take a lot of Coke, Fanta, sugar, 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 processed things basically. It is best to take plain fluids and just water. It helps your kidney, helps your body, doesn't stress your kidney and then you're fine. Okay, so for a strike for the youths, ensure that you reduce energy drinks. I've seen a lot of people that take it and they come down with, they are wondering why they are having kidney issues or something. Don't stress your kidney. Another thing I'd like to mention is to stop the abuse of NSAIDs and painkillers. Stop the abuse of these things. NSAIDs and painkillers, when you take them in excess, like every at every time you're feeling headache, you're popping a pill, popping a pill, popping a pill, it's not healthy. Sometimes your body just needs to rest. So if you're feeling headache or you just feel exhausted, instead of taking painkillers, try resting first. And then if it's not working, then seek help from your health practitioner instead of popping pills at every time. Some of these things are kidney damage. Another thing I really like to point out is the intake of agbo, what we call uh, this traditional medicine that they just mix. I know people that usually take this a lot are not really educated and they don't watch, but some are educated and they still like to take these things. You know what you're doing? Yes, all these... Um, drugs that we take they are from herbs plants and all this but in herbs all this that is to mix all this agro concussion that is to do is not measured the human just feels like point two drops here point ten drops here point this amount and then they mix it for you and that as well it is not at any setting or they, it's not measured okay so they just put it anyhow and they need to put it into your system and you drink it it is pretty damaging so please avoid all this type of things it damages the kidney another thing i really like to point out is that you need to stay healthy and active staying healthy and active like move around a lot more often stop living in fact this applies to heart, to the heart the liver everything also the intake of alcohol and smoking i can't even overemphasize this one this is not even about those that take energy drink or something. Alcohol and smoking damages your organs. And you know that people that take this, they don't just take it in bits. Most of the times, they take it in excess and they are drunk. So it's like you're giving your kidney a lot of stress. I don't want to bore you with the whole process of how this thing works and the chemical uh, pathway or how everything works. But just know that alcohol and smoking is dangerous to your body. I know a lot of people hear it, but yes, I'm going to repeat it. It is dangerous. Lastly, guys, so if you are someone that is probably advanced in age a little bit and then you have hypertension or you're battling with diabetes mellitus, those are two things that occur as people age. At times, it is idiopathic or it is just... Um, hereditary so it's something that some people have no control over so if you have been diagnosed with any of these conditions at all the best thing is to make sure that your sugar level and your hype and your blood pressure rather it is controlled make sure that it is controlled if you're being diagnosed with these conditions there's no cause for alarm take your medications and make sure that you are controlling it. There are lots of people that take their drugs for their BP and their sugar level. They take it for years and they live their normal life. They take their medications, keep everything normally, and then they are fine, okay? So just make sure that you control your BP and control your sugar level, and then you live a normal life. So that's it for this video. If you have any questions, drop them in the comment section. I'll definitely answer you. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and also share with your friends and your colleagues. Also, if you have not watched all my other medical-based video or health-based video, do also watch them. I'm going to drop the one for cervical cancer here. Bye guys!